Hello you guys, so in today's video we are finally going to be filming the update to my arm liposuction. Sorry, my dog's in here making noise. Um, so if you are from my past video or if you are new, I had arm liposuction done in June of last year and we are finally doing the update <laughs> um, today. So if you want to know just everything you need to know about the arm lipo go ahead and watch my other video. It's an hour long and I literally break it down for you and I go over everything. In this video, I'm just gonna show you my arms and talk about the healing process and that's it. It's gonna be very short. So um, yeah, I much rather film this honestly nine months out anyways rather than three to four because you're still swollen at three to four months. You still have like lumpiness. Um, you know, you're still healing. Whereas nine months, we're getting closer to a year mark. You're gonna have your more solidified results. And so I much rather film this now for you guys so you have a clearer picture of the end result. And I will say, I am extremely happy with my results. And that is the one question, one of the questions I get is, would you do it again? You know, are you happy with your results? Did everything go good for you. Sorry, I, I see myself in the mirror because I'm filming in front of a mirror and it's like throwing me off. So I'm like trying not to like look over there, but I see my eyes like being all crazy and it's like distracting me. So I'm trying not to look over there. Anyways, people ask, um, you know, yeah, are you happy? Did everything turn out good? Would you do it again? You know, do you still recommend it? And everything for me is yes, 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 yes. You guys, it's insane. The difference it has made, not just physically and aesthetically, obviously how I look, but mentally and with my confidence level is insane. I used to be so self-conscious about my arms, you guys. I would hide them, I would tuck them, I was uncomfortable with people touching them people seeing them. I was so self-conscious and I'll try and throw up some pictures or videos maybe I can find of before because I realized I didn't take a solid before video like showing the fat, showing them jiggle, like actually showing them on my body and honestly I feel like it was because I was so subconsciously self-conscious that I wouldn't even allow myself to do that. I, know I filmed a before video with a shirt on and I'm like, girl, <laughs> why did I do that? So they were just big and did not fit my body like they were not appropriately sized for me and i always felt that way and even the feeling of them has changed for me i used to always feel puffy and kind of sausagey <laughs> and big and i just feel so different you guys and i was like dating somebody a little bit ago and even like with that with just like them touching my arm i used to just be like oh i would cringe and now i'm just like okay touch my arms I like don't care so it really is much more like beauty runs skin deep it's so cheesy it's so cliche but it's true it's not just about the aesthetics it's how it makes you feel and it truly has affected me in such a positive way and honestly I wish I would have done it sooner but you only know what you know and um that kind of leads me into the next question is like what the people ask me would you do it again would you change anything? I mean, yes, I would 100% do it again. Would you change anything? I think, of course, like there are things that I would do differently to just make my experience even better, but you only know what you know with the knowledge you have. So going through any experience, it would make your next experience better. So if I planned on doing anything else to my body, which I don't, then I would have that knowledge and I would be able to prepare better and change things and do things differently for myself. But I'm not, I wouldn't, if I could go back and change things, sure, that's not possible. <laughs> but would I do it again with exactly how this, the experience was? 100%. And that's um, something that people ask a lot is, how was my healing process? What was the pain level? All of that. So I did talk about some of this in my previous video. But the healing process, you guys, for me was super, super easy. Um, honestly, there was less pain than when I had kidney stones, when I had my tonsils taken out. Um, this was not very painful at all. If anything, it was just uncomfortable, but it was not painful. It was not a bad experience, really, at all. I just really, it, it wasn't, it was just good. I've heard and seen and read horror stories online of people having had arm liposuction done and that's super unfortunate because it really was a good experience for me. So I'm grateful for that because I'm, I'm not the type to just like go get things into my body um and so yeah for me the the pain was always so if I'll scale one to ten I would say honestly it never reached 
like above it was never reached above like a five because it wasn't painful it was more uncomfortable than anything and the thing that was the most painful were the incisions that I had in my elbow which you can still kind of see that mark right I don't know if you can see it from there but there's a little mark here and there's barely a mark on this arm honestly this one I don't know why this one turned out like that but that was so this is not from if you can see that that I fell in my basement so that's not from that um, the little tiny dot where the drain was sticking out was the most uncomfortable and painful part of the whole thing. And that was only for a few days and then the drain got taken out. So the, my arms themselves were numb. And then there was a period of time where the numbing was starting to wear off because your nerves come back, they regenerate. And so with that transition of the, the numbness wearing off and that nerves coming back, there was sensitivity. So they did hurt to a degree, but again, it wasn't a level that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain, I need to take pain medication, nothing like that, I didn't take anything actually. Um, and I don't know if I have just like a high, high pain tolerance or what, but I didn't take anything. So there were, was, and the only thing that it really affected me with was sleeping. So day to day, just normal, everyday life, I was fine. And really it was just like certain positions I couldn't really lay on my arm because it was sensitive and it was kind of like hurting a little bit, like uncomfortable, but it, it was just nothing crazy. It just really wasn't. And it wore off, and now I can literally sleep in any position, like, do anything. I'm totally fine. Um, have zero things happening with my arms since surgery, if that makes sense. Like, there's nothing going on. No lingering problems or issues that I have. Um, so the healing process was just... I don't know, it was just easy. And one thing that you definitely need to do is get the massages done, which helps your healing process. So again, I talk about all of this in my previous video, so just make sure you're doing your due diligence, you know, getting your massages done, wearing your garment. The garment, he wanted me to wear it for three months. It was so uncomfortable, you guys. That was probably the hardest part of the whole thing, was wearing that goddamn garment, because <laughs> it was so tight and so uncomfortable. It would pinch me here. It was like tight on my elbow, so then when I would like bend my arm, my hands and like fingers I felt like kind of would get tingly and numb and so I even had it altered I had it taken in because he said like once it gets loose you need to get it taken in so it's even tighter he wanted me to wear it for three months some doctors don't even recommend it or say it's necessary and then some do there's kind of conflicting information and I'm like well the more the merrier like if I'm gonna get a better result and it could help I'm just gonna wear the garment and why go through all of this if you're not just gonna wear it I I've heard other girls be like yeah no it's like terrible I can't wear it and I'm like girl wear it stop stop it like be like woman up and wear the garment because it can potentially I would think help with you know circulating that fluid and everything I, I don't know but I wore it for two months I did not make it three um, I don't know that I mean I don't know he said three I I did it as long as I could. Do it as long as you possibly can. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't do the full amount either, I guess. So um, do it as long as you can. And I wore it 24 seven and I only took it off to like shower or wash it. And I don't know, I just feel like it probably helps your skin retract and it. There's gotta be something to it, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into showing you my arms. So you guys might see my arms like this and be like, what? like. They're still hang and saggy, but girl, girl, no. <laughs> you don't even understand. So like when I do this, first of all, they look really good. You would have never seen muscle before, not a chance in hell, and you can barely see muscle because I haven't been working out. And that's the other thing, you guys. I have not been working out at all, really. I worked out for like two months when I moved with a trainer, and that's it. <laughs> so if I start working out, they're going to get smaller. They naturally always did. Um, so they are going to get smaller. They're going to get more toned, all of that. And I haven't even been working out, so keep that in mind. But you never would have seen muscle before. And when I do this, like that hang to me and just that skin, that looks more natural to me now. Before it was, girl, it was a lot. It was thick. I could, I could fly to freaking Europe and back. It was crazy. Um, and so this to me just looks natural. Like that looks like a natural arm. Someone who has, you know, is like older, has lax. I'm in my 30s. So I, you know, um, it doesn't bother me at all. And I think they look really freaking good. And let's see. This is from the side. So before, like this would be so, like I could go like this, you guys. I'm not kidding. When I would grab my arm, it, there was so much. 
And so if I squeeze it, it comes from the front now because there's fat here. So he didn't take fat from the front. I don't think they normally do because they don't want to risk nerve damage. So they don't take it from your forearm either, which I'm like, girl, I got chunky forearms. But um, they look really good from the side. And if I squeeze them down, like, it's it's just knowing what they were before. Like, again, this everyone's standards different and everyone's results are going to be different. But knowing what they were before, I am like, girl, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And once I start working out, heck yeah. And before, I don't know if you can see it, you would never have been able to see a tricep muscle. When there's like dim lighting, you can kind of see my tricep muscle. Girl, not a chance in hell that that would have happened before. <laughs> not a chance in hell. And so my arms just look really freaking Oh, do you see that muscle? Do you see that tricep muscle, girl? <laughs> my arms just look really good in my opinion. I love them. I'm a obsessed with my results um I'm totally fine with them I'm confident now and um I'll show you so the one thing that I did notice when I was healing was definitely like lumpiness and unevenness underneath the arm so when I would hold them like this and I would turn them in you would see like lumpiness and kind of just unevenness and it didn't look too pretty for a while I was like oh shit but that has kind of gone that's gone away um I mean there's still fat in there so honestly anything if you do see is probably more like a cellulite type situation because I still have fat in my arms you know what I mean um but they look so good you guys they look so good I'm just like girl yes <laughs> I'm looking in a mirror because I just need to be able to see myself but I yeah I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I definitely highly recommend my doctor, you guys. And this is one thing I will say. People are judgmental when you tell them that you go to get surgery done in another country. Okay, there are good doctors in the U.S. and there are bad doctors in the U.S. There are good doctors in Mexico and there are bad doctors in Mexico. They're everywhere. It does not matter. And if you do your research and you find a doctor who's good at what he does and you look at their pictures and their reviews and their videos and all of the stuff, it does not matter where they're located as long as they're good doctors and they're safe and you do your research. You could go to a doctor in the US and get botched and have a bad result. So I'm just saying, it does not matter. And my doctor is amazing. So I would 100% recommend him. And um, yeah, like there's, also, you know, I've, hear, I've heard stories of girls, like I had this one gal messaging me, talking about her results, showing me pictures and videos, and it kind of, she had like lumpiness and unevenness, and it didn't look the greatest. I don't know if those are her final results because she was still only a couple months out, but you could go to a doctor here as well that, so my thing is, find a doctor who does arms. They could be good at doing other things, but it doesn't mean they're good at arms. And that is why I went to my doctor because I saw him do arms on other girls and I knew girls he had done arms on and he was good at it because you could go to a doctor that's really like a top rated plastic surgeon, but if he's not very good at arms, he's just not good at arms. So make sure if you are finding a doctor in the US that they are good at doing arms. And um, because also I, I had seen some people talking about how they were like in so much pain and all of this. and. To be honest, their technique and their method probably really matters and that's when you're going to have pain. My guess is, was that doctor hitting the muscle because they shouldn't be and what if that's what was happening and he was damaging the muscle and that's why you were in so much pain because your muscle, that that would be terrible. Um, you know, and just different things. There, there was a story of a doctor in Tijuana, Mexico who had like six girls die under his care because he was doing BBLs on them which involved liposuction of the abdomen and he was perforating their lungs and they were dying because of that so that's what I'm saying is technique matters um and yeah I don't know that that's it you guys it's all I really have to say about that uh highly recommend my doctor I'm very happy with my results 100% one 10 out of 10 would do it again can't wait to actually start working out now that I'm kind of settled, I had moved across the country. So, um, yeah. Good luck if you do decide to get the procedure. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions, all the things. Subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.